Let me show you how to create these three neon effect in Adobe Photoshop. Right click on your text and choose convert to smart object. Now go to layer style and choose blending options. Choose inner glow. Follow these settings. Choose hard light. Set the opacity to 35%. Set the size to 7%. Change the color to 7200FF. Click on the contour and follow these settings. Set the input to 48% and the output to 62%. Now choose Outer Glow. Change the blending mode to Linear Dodge Add. Set the opacity to 80%. Change the color to 9600FF. Change the size to 35%. Click here. Follow these settings. When you finish press OK. Now duplicate this text layer by pressing Ctrl J. Drag it down. Right click and choose blending options. Remove the inner glow. Add a stroke. Follow these settings. Change the position to inside. Now go to outer glow. Change the size to 250 pixels. When you finish press OK. Let's delete this inner glow. Right click and choose blending options. Add a drop shadow. Follow these settings. When you finish press OK. That's it. Here's the before, here's the after. First write your text. You can check the font that I am using from here. Right click and choose convert to smart object. Go to layer style and choose color overlay. Choose the white color and then press OK. Change the blending mode to screen. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 0.6. Press Ctrl J to make a copy. Double click on Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 3. Press Ctrl J to make a copy. Double click on Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 15. Press Ctrl J to make a copy. Double click on Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 30. Press Ctrl J to make a copy. Double click on Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 70. Press Ctrl J to make a copy. Double click on Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 260. Press Ctrl J to make a copy. Double click on Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 450. Hold Shift and select all text layers. Press Ctrl G to group them. Rename the group. Change the blending mode to screen. Now go to adjustment layer and choose solid color. Choose the black color and then press OK. Drag the layer to the back of this group. Go to Adjustment Layer and choose Gradient Map. Follow these settings. I have already saved this gradient. You can create it by following these color codes.
hold alt and click here to create a clipping mask. That's it. Hope you liked it. Choose the brush tool. Set the brush size to around 40 pixels. Set the hardness to 0%. Set the foreground color to white. Now choose the curvature pen tool. Create a new layer. Make sure the pen tool is set to path. Start doing the curve around the person. Right click and choose stroke path. Change the tool to brush. Turn on simulate pressure. Now right click and choose delete path. Go to layer style and choose outer glow. Follow these settings. Follow these settings. When you finish press OK. Add a layer mask. Choose the brush tool. Make sure the foreground color is black. That's it. Hope you liked it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. Also check out other tutorials in my channel. Thank you for your support.